All right, so uh, first of all, I wanted to say thank you, Bishop McCord, for uh, holding this event. Um, it's pretty awesome, pretty special, uh, something you don't see anywhere else in the country. Um, so I want to thank Bishop McCord for having this. The support has been amazing. Uh, I want to thank all you guys for, for the support. A lot of you have been reaching out, texting me at the end of the on Instagram, um, and just reaching out, being super cool. Uh, you know, you're following the wrestling. Obviously, some of you watch it live. Some of you uh, followed it through the paper and the news and things. And, um, I just want to say thank you for uh, supporting me and following me through that. And, um, you know, it was, it was a fun 12 days, 13 days in Budapest. Um, I arrived there on the 14th. I had a five-day training camp with the freestyle team to get acclimated with the six-hour time difference and things. And uh, it was just a dream come true ever since I was six years old. I always wanted to compete in the world and uh, win world championships and, and ultimately Olympic championships. So, uh, like I said, thank you guys for the support. Um, I'll take you through my journey a little bit. So I said I got there on the 14th. Um, it was a really fun five-day training camp before competition started. I was the freestyle team. The head coach was Kevin Jackson, who was Olympic champion back when he wrestled. I uh, got the wealth of knowledge, and I learned a lot from them in those five days. Um, so it was a great training camp there. Uh, I got my weight down and everything like that. I got acclimated to the time zone. And I competed in freestyle, which is our main our uh, main sport, freestyle and reco. Uh, we take freestyle as our A sport. Um, and uh, that, that, that's what I went out to do. I set out to win the world, and uh, it was a great time. First round, you know, the brackets came out, and you saw all the different countries and all the crazy names and stuff, and uh, it was pretty crazy, and that's, that's when it got real. You saw, you know, the bracket come out, the Russian and Iranian, the bracket stuff, and all the wild names that you see there. But, uh, you know, first match, I had the Georgian. Uh, Georgia is a country I learned as well. I thought it was just a state, but it's a country as well. Um, so I wrestled with Georgia first round. Um, I got the pin there, and then I wrestled a guy from Azerbaijan, um, which was another great match. Um, I got the pin in that one as well, and then I wrestled with the biggest 100 pounder I've ever seen in my life, the semis, uh, the Uzbekistan guy. And so at the World Championships, you have to make weight the first and second day if you wrestle freestyle. So uh, I wrestled my semifinal, which was the last match of the first day against the Uzbekistan guy, and I won which put him in the bronze medal match because he was well lost to me. And he had to make weight the next day. And uh, he ended up getting carried to the scale. He was he had to cut so much weight, he was so drained. But uh, like I said, that guy was huge um, from Uzbekistan. And then the finals, I got to wrestle the Russian. Uh, that's a classic rivalry in wrestling. It's the Russian versus USA, you know, the Rocky thing and stuff like that. So that was kind of cool to wrestle the Russian in the final. And uh, to get that done was, was also amazing. So. It was a great, a great journey out there, um, and then Greco was super fun as well. I learned so much, and uh, you know, I'm just glad to be back home with, with all you guys who supported me. So uh, I want to thank you guys again, Bishop McCord, for having this. I want to thank all my practice partners, all my teammates over here. These guys are awesome. They've been with me you know, every step of the way, and I want to thank my coaches as well. Um, I have so many coaches to name, but Coach Johnny, Coach Jack, my dad. My dad's a big one. He was with me every step of the way in Budapest, and obviously my young guys' coaches as well. And on my college business. But uh, yeah, thanks again. Thank you to Bishop McCord for having this. And uh, we're in 2022. 2022 is coming soon. So hopefully, bring back another one. Woo!